Bonjour everyone. Bonjour. I try to look. Okay. Some beautiful girls everywhere. Okay. Very nice. There's one gentleman. We've got one gentleman yeah, here. No? And over here. Gentleman down here. Wow. Very nice. You the can, you can be on your own, or you've been we've been a drag out here. No? Very brave. Welcome. So. Vincent, I guess your aspect of living in France is very different to Jane and mine's, probably everyone else's. Um, you went to Normandy with us last year and did a fabulous week of some fabulous classes. What was your impression of, of Normandy and Jane's little house? Well, um, there's some good looking girls there, but I think compared to Australia, uh, 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 I think most of the, most of yeah, the pretty girls are here. That's probably why I'm here. I was asking you about the girls. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was asking you about the chateau in Normandy and Bosque and all that thing. Well, you know, well, first, if you, I mean, when you arrive at front of this chateau, um, it's a bit overwhelming, really. Um, I never saw actually a chateau like this, you know, all, all redone and everything, because there's many chateaux in Burgundy, but they all like run down, as you said. Not many people want to, to go there and actually take care of it because it's a big job. And as you know, yeah, sometimes you buy some chateau and there's nothing inside because everybody, everything has been, has been stolen and unfortunately, yeah. So, and I, well, uh, and I said, wow, okay, this is serious business. <laughs> now we're talking about it. Um, when it comes to food, well, I was surprised, but, um, you know, every time I go to France, um, um, not because I'm French, it's just, um, um, I really like going, going to restaurants, going to places. It's very hard to actually go to France and eat bad food. Really. Most of the time you go to any, uh, any places, uh, everything you buy, it's, it's great. Now, the experience I had back where you're from, Normandy, I loved, I loved the food. It's nice and, and rich because of the region, you know, because of the weather. But they use a, a big diversity, diversity of ingredients. Translate this diversity. But you know what? The best way to experience it, even if you can't understand me today, it's actually booked for a tour, and then uh, we'll be able to spend nine days together. <laughs> How's that? Can help us, Jane. <laughs> you won't be jealous, Jane? Oh no. Year as well. Uh, Michelle, can we cancel? You see? <laughs> no, 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 we're booked. Two weeks from tomorrow, we're on that plane. Okay. So tell us a bit about the uh, menu today, Vincent. The menu, all right. You had your savory already? How was it? I can still see some, some uh, food on the plate. <laughs> we don't like food left like, behind on the plate. plate. <laughs> Chef gets very upset if it's not eaten, ladies. Sorry, I will stay quiet till the plate's empty. <laughs> is that, is that, that, no? It's not. What's there happened? You, you take your time, yeah? <laughs> is, that, is that the reason? Yeah. Okay. Here comes the sweet. Now, so. when it comes come to sweet, that's probably for me the best part of the meal, really, because um, that's for me a sign of celebration. Really, I always say, you can always live with that dessert in life. Sweets is just a luxury, you know? It's a, it's a luxury item in your life. It just makes you happy. So you have to make sure that whatever you, you get at the end of the meal has to be good. If you do have a bad entree or bad main course, that's okay. If you do have a good dessert behind it, you cannot forget about the experience. If you do have a bad dessert, that's it. Well, that's, me. that's my philosophy anyway. It's true. It's your last memory of the meal. So where do we are? Now, I took some recipe from Jane's book, and we twisted a bit, so what did I do? Improve. Yes, no, no, well, not, not improve, twisted, you know. It's an interpretation of Jane's book. Now, I did, um, I wanted to do an apple tart, but something different. I did a little a sweet paste, or sweet dough, which I put some uh, beautiful Wayne Smith apple compote on the bottom, then I cover it with a creme brulee mix and I bake the whole thing um, in the oven. So that's basically a mini creme brulee tart filled with compote, apple compote. And then I found a couple of recipes which I was very impressed in the book. One was the actual lemon sponge, uh, 
Um, now, what I did is I make it a bit Frenchier. You made it a bit what? A bit Frenchier. Frenchier. So I took the sponge okay. and we basically did um, um, a version of French toast. So I took the sponge, the lemon sponge, and then I did a mix of eggs, milk, and then lemon juice. Toast it inside and then toast it on a, I mean, you know, soak it inside the mixture and toast it on a plate, on a, on a pan, sorry. So that's like a, yeah, you will see, you taste but will decide, basically. Are you finished yet? Uh, one more thing on the plate there, I think. And then one more sandwich to go. We down. do have a lovely verine. So on the bottom, you will see some sponge. That's a lovely coconut sponge. Same, same. Straight, straight from uh, Jen's book. Then what I did, I soaked it with some. Um, what did I put inside? Some uh, coconut milk. Then I put some roasted coconuts around, just for the crunchiness of it. Put the lovely um, Valrhona chocolate mousse, flavored with milk chocolate. And then a compote of raspberry on top. And to add a bit of a crunchiness, uh, meringue on the side. So I think you're here for a treat. All I have to say to you now is hopefully I'll see you again. If not in France, in my class at Patis, and uh, have a lovely day and bon appétit. That's the chef.